Ryder and Lisa. Overrated audiobooks. I can't do it. Mm. I get so distracted. Because you're not focused on reading pages, you get scrolling on Twitter. You know, you're checking Facebook. You're looking through your emails. Is it because your hands are free? Yeah. Mainly is your, yeah. I get that. The The best time for me that I've ever listened to an audio book is when I was grouting a uh, shower. And so my hands were busy, but it was doing monotonous, like a monotonous job that you didn't have to overthink. And then I could really get into the audio yeah, book. That's what I need. To, I need to just put the phone down or, mm. yeah, do something, fold laundry, anything, because not only are my hands free, but so are my eyes. So then I start reading other things, and then next thing you know, I'm like, oh, wait, what happened? Yeah. And then I got to scroll back 15 minutes. I don't know, man. I like holding a book. See, and like as someone with ADHD, I have a really rough time sitting in front of a book and reading. Right. Because my mind wanders. So you definitely don't agree with mine today. That's okay, though. Yeah, I would say I do, the other. I do agree that like it's overrated for someone with a normal brain like yours. <laughs> but I can listen to podcasts, no problem. It's right. so weird. Ah. I guess it, well, it's the storyline, right? Like if I miss important information... What's the point of getting on to the next chapter if I if I yeah. missed something, right? So I always have to rewind. Where's the podcast you can just kind of listen? Exactly. Yeah. Like ours. Like ours. Search Ryder and Lisa Replay wherever you get yours. Hashtag ad. Uh, all right. I'm going <laughs> with uh, underrated today. And it's the sleeps you get when you're working out. You mentioned to me that you had like a terrific sleep last night. I did. I had an amazing workout around 12, yeah. 1230 p.m. yesterday. So even like eight hours later, my body was like, let's do this. Yeah. Let's sleep. No, the last couple of days I've been uh, I've been going hard too in, yeah. the, in the pool. No, you've been crushing it. Why don't you brag a little bit about what you accomplished on Monday? I've joined a jazzercise <laughs> water group with... Uh, a, no. What? What's the actual thing? With a thing? team of elderly women. No, I just... I've been swimming lots. I did 50 lanes in 50 minutes, which was a goal I didn't even Woo! think I could get to That's this so crazy. soon into trying to get back in shape. But... I've been sleeping like a baby. It might be the chlorine too, but like put your head on the pillow, you're out. Yeah, and it's ex- the best. I really think it's exercise is the main thing that helps you sleep better. So if you're struggling to sleep at night, I don't want to tell you to get off your ass, but man, it helps when I get off mine. There you go. All right. So you agree that's underrated? The sleeps after working out? 100%. All right. So you may, if you're jumping on Facebook today and have friends in Saskatchewan, see a hell of a storm that went through there last night. Now, I woke up thinking, whoa, they got a snowstorm already? As did you. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought when I saw it. And I was like, there's no way. A snowstorm on August 31st? So we called our uh, friends at Play 92 in Regina. Mm -hmm. They liked our station so much they copied it, which is (laughs) fine because we work for the same company. Uh, But they, uh, Mark and Jessica, would have been right there during the storm. So we wanted to see what was going on. And we we were caught by surprise fairly significantly about... The, the snowstorm, or so we thought the snowstorm. Uh, I forgot to have Lisa's mic on during this call, so you might be able to hear her in the background. Probably not, though. And it's fine, because we called them so early that I don't even know what I said, to <laughs> be honest. But yeah, yeah, check this out. It was super windy. There was actually, um, like, we went driving around, because my husband thinks he's a tornado hunter. <laughs> and <laughs> the clouds were, like, swirling over the east part of the city, kind of. And the size of the hail we got, too, of course, like everyone on social media posting a, a quarter or whatever and putting the piece of hail beside the quarter, uh, they were actually quite big. So it was more hail than it was snow. Oh, that was hail, yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay, because I, I watched a video this morning. I was like, are they getting a snowstorm already? Well, yeah, I mean, it is Saskatchewan, so it wouldn't be surprising if on August 31st <laughs> we got a snowstorm. But, no, it was it was hail, and you know what? Today it's gone. It's a beautiful morning. Oh, well, that's okay. super boring. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear you trying to. Yeah, yeah wait a minute. I'm sorry. I'm trying that. to chime in. 
But yeah, this is like the equivalent of just reading the headline of a story and then realizing after you like you tell everybody about it that it was a parody story yeah. and like it wasn't true. Or they ask for more details and you're like, Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't click on it. <laughs> yeah, so just be careful. A heads up. If you're seeing the snowstorm that hit Saskatchewan, it's via deceiving. videos and pictures. Very deceiving. It was just a hailstorm. Very boring. 107. Apparently, it was very sexy. What? New research. I'm only makes them more attractive. But Mom. not but not women. Not when women do it. Mumbling makes men more attractive. I'm actually so annoyed of you right now, so I don't know if this is an accurate study. Why? What? Because I can't hear you. Why can't you hear me? Well, now I can hear you. Yeah. Anyway, I just came across that and I found it pretty interesting. <laughs> Mumbling makes them sexy. Why does it make men sexy? I don't because know. Because they're mysterious. We don't know what they're saying. Yeah. I or like maybe when you're mumbling, it comes across that you're like lacking confidence, and women like to strike. Okay, <laughs> I are weak. Okay, I have the funniest headline for you. It's a satire website, uh, Reductress. So okay. it's all female writers mm-hmm. and like female perspectives. And this one, where is it? Here it is. It's a man who says, you're so mysterious, says man who has never asked you anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. That is so on point. So, like, would you say that if a man was mumbling a bit, maybe mm-hmm. you watch their mouth more? And maybe just, you lean in more. Yeah, that's And then true. you catch a scent. Or, like, uh, mouths... I find attractive, which does that sound perverted? No. Okay. But like nice teeth, yep. lips. And so when you're focusing on those because you're trying to read somebody's lips because they're mumbling. Mm, must have been a tough year for you. With the masks? Yeah. Yeah. What'd you focus on instead? <laughs> Just myself. I, <laughs> <laughs> I look down. A lot of a long time. Anyway, there it is. Uh, I'd like to hear some perspective on this one. It's 780-784-7107. If you find a mumbling man attractive, like when I was doing it earlier in the break, were you like, damn? Or were you annoyed like me because you were like, what? (laughs) For more info, visit adtutoring.com. Whoa, this video has over 5 million likes alone on TikTok. I can't see how many views it is, but I'm assuming it's a lot more than that. This woman named Natalie went for dinner. It was her birthday. She's totally blind. The restaurant found out about this and last minute went back into the kitchen and created a cake for her with hard chocolate and wrote out happy birthday in Braille. Whoa. Yeah. So they went back there and they Googled what, how to draw it out and everything. And it's such a wholesome video. She was not expecting that at all. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, I love it. Tell me something good. Would you also bring hand sanitizer first? Like if you're touching a cake? Sorry, um, it's actually not on cake. It's written with, with the hard chocolate on a plate. And then they brought the cake. Oh, good. I probably should have said that. Because I was that. just thinking like if you're sharing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> That's a really beautiful story. All right. Uh, mine has to do with a guy that had a concept for a bakery. He wanted to help. Uh, inmates that were released from prison, you know, re-enter the world and give a few of them the opportunity. And so he started matching uh, people that had spent time in jail with really good bakers and getting the bakers to mentor them. And now he has this business, I think it's called Freedom Bakery, and it uh, employs half of ex-inmates. Oh, wow. And it's one of the top bakeries in Glasgow, Scotland. It's hugely popular. And apparently, it's also really good for inmates because they have to get up to go to work so early. Uh, it, a lot of them are less likely to reoffend mm. because you don't get in trouble at 6 in the morning. You get in trouble at, you know, midnight or 1 in the morning. Bakery shifts situations. are quite early. Don't yeah. they start work at like 3 a.m.? Yeah. So getting up for work at three, you'd probably uh, be pretty well behaved in the evenings. Anyway, just a really cool concept and looks to be pretty effective. Tell me something good. 107, it's Ryder and Lisa, your chance at 100 bucks. Yes, we had a winner uh, yesterday when we last played at 9, 10 a.m., meaning we reset 
the bank. Uh, Ryder and Lisa's $20,000 Play That Tune gets rolling here in mere minutes. But first, you came across something that you thought was pretty interesting. Yeah, so I hope you're prepared to feel personally attacked. These are the top six common things that disrupt your hormone balance. Number one, stress. Because it releases cortisol, which is a stress hormone, has a negative effect on your hormone. Poor digestion. Apparently, fun fact, you excrete estrogen through your stools. So without proper digestion, this process is limited and it it causes a buildup of estrogen. Hmm. Crazy. I didn't know that at all. You would think like... In gut health, they talk about constantly mm-hmm. and how important that is for your overall well-being, including your happiness. That that seems to make a lot of sense. Too much caffeine. Oh, no. I know. Excessive refined sugar, lack of sleep, and sitting all day. So I posted this on my Instagram story and the amount of women that responded saying, why are you doing this to me? <laughs> or why is this less relatable? I passed the test. I got six out of six. Yeah. <laughs> it's so true. But honestly, like out of all the things that we do on a day-to-day basis, like that you know that you probably shouldn't be doing. Yeah. You're like, okay, I'm in my 30s. Why do I still have hormonal acne? As I'm on my sixth coffee and I'm eating a bag of chips. You're on your sixth coffee because you haven't gotten any sleep the last three nights. And I'm sitting all day binge watching Netflix On a toilet and it's not working right. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. You you can kind of hit for the cycle, hey, with all of those. Yeah, six out of six. Anyone else? There's a, a good tip if you're feeling your hormones are a little imbalanced. What I would suggest, because you found this with, it's a women's health article, right? Yeah. What I would suggest is, fellas, maybe be, tread lightly when letting your lady know about this list. You don't want to just be like, oh. Yeah, she's cranky or has one zit and you're like, well. (laughs) Well, maybe you should look at this. Maybe you should stop having so much (laughs) Starbucks. Because I think seventh on the list is probably a dumb man. (laughs) Uh, All right. You ready to give away some money? Always. Let's do it. It's time for Ryder and Lisa's $20,000. Think you know this song? Be caller 7 at 780-784-7107 to play that tune. Only on Play 107. 107. Coming up, we have um, DM. DM in the AM. That's what we're calling this segment, because it's in the morning that we get these DMs. <laughs> uh, from a listener who has started dating a guy, and she wants to talk to him about his grooming. And I don't know... What kind know- of grooming? Like on his body or his face? Well, she mentioned eyebrows in it, but I think oh. she means like overall body hair. He's a little unkept. So if you have a suggestion on how to bring that up with a guy, we'd like to hear from you at 780-784-7107. Like I said, we'll dive into that in a few minutes. But uh, right now, you're doing something that's keeping your attention on Facebook, but it's pretty funny. Yeah, so on Play 107's Facebook page, we all saw that picture of Dwayne Johnson's doppelganger. There's some... It's crazy. It eh? is crazy. Some lieutenant, I think they're in Alabama, Looks exactly like him. So I posted that picture and I just wrote, post your selfie in the comments so others can guess your doppelganger. Mm -hmm. And I'm crushing it from the Play 107 account. So if you think you look like someone, put Lisa to the test. Or if you're convinced that you don't look like someone, I'll show you a celebrity that you look like. I've already had one girl who's like, I don't think I look like any celebrities. And she is Tina Fey's doppelganger. Really? So I just respond with a GIF. Is it GIF or GIF? Who, nah, nobody, who cares? Nobody knows. A picture of a celebrity in response. And it's just really fun for me. And you can play along, too, if you're bored at work this morning, because we'll keep the post up. And you can post your selfie, or okay. you can respond to others. I just posted mine. Okay. I'd like you to go and uh, let me know who you think I look like in it. Right now, live on the air, we're going to put this to the test, if you're so confident. Okay, I got one. Reply. Photo. I gotta like type in like the GIF or find a picture. You look exactly like what just um, JTT looks like right now. Justin Timberlake? No, no, Thank no. You. Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Oh, like after he let himself go? Um, I wouldn't call it that. 
<laughs> okay. At 107. So I wanted to call this segment where you reach out to us with any questions you may have, and we can put it out there anonymously. DM. Slide into our DMs in the AM. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, our boss just messaged me. He's on holidays. <laughs> and he's like, no. I don't like the name. <laughs> like, okay. Uh, go back to drinking or whatever you're doing on holidays. <laughs> Quit creeping on us. Okay, so the question we've been asked today that I find pretty interesting is, I want to know if you can change a man in his 30s to be more conscientious of his grooming. I've been dating him for two months. I really like him. How do I tell him I need him to do some manscaping? Mm. Specifically his eyebrows and some other areas. Dot, 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 dot. I find this interesting because me personally, I would just pluck it without even asking first. I have a buddy that does that to me and it drives me insane. He'll walk up to me like I was just standing at the beach yeah. uh, this last week. My daughter was swimming and I was standing there about to go in and he just walks up behind me and I'm like, Ow! And he plucked out of, just came out and plucked a mole hair off my back. Oh, he cares about you. Well, I guess, but it hurt. I, uh, I've i plucked <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy's uh, uni brow. He does the morning show on Cruise FM mm-hmm. because he needed help. He doesn't well, know. Well, he's a little person too, so you had a good angle to really yeah, it was perfect. that eyebrow. And he looked so good after. Janice wrote in saying, tell him you two are having a spa day and he's getting the treatment. Do him right up and reward him as well. Yeah, that's That cool. is probably the best answer I've ever seen. Yeah, I like that. You also think just like placing whatever products a guy should start using more in front of their eyes is a good way to get this done. Yeah. So like, give me an example. I've got, you know, rough skin. Okay, so you just find a moisturizer that's... That says it doesn't like, even matter. Like, it doesn't even matter if it's a pink bottle, a gender-neutral bottle. Who cares? Right. Just place it there. Eventually, somebody's going to no, open it and get in there. I don't touch any... No, I've never touched a lady's product like that. No? Because I don't I don't know how expensive that is. <laughs> right. Like, some of those small bottles are like, yeah. you find out they're 80 bucks later, and you're like, oh, whoops. So, what if you were to just, like, casually mention, like, uh, I bought some new tweezers, they're in the bathroom. Maybe I, maybe he'll take care of the yeah, unibrow himself. Like, well, that's what I'm saying. Put it in front of his face like you suggested a while ago. I think that's a really smart idea, but I do think you need to do, like, ones that say, dude cream Kay. for rough skin uh, Keep on in mind, it. these two have only been dating for two months. Like, she's not like she's like, all right, your designated area of stuff, I added a little bottle of moisturizer. That's true. Nobody's doing that so after two months. After two months, it's too soon to get rolling with that. I, I would feel comfortable with like, here, let me trim your eyebrows. You've got a weird one. And then you get in there and trim all 46 weird ones. Brittany wrote in saying, men don't take hints ever. Just be blunt. And Janice said, buy the men's products. They're the exact same ingredients, but they're cheaper because men won't spend that kind of money. Always use men products. Uh-huh, there that you is go. fascinating to me. What do you think? Oh, I'd be straight up. Dude, what are you doing? <laughs> Shave that. I don't want it stuck in my teeth. Yeah, you don't want it stuck in your teeth. <laughs> Are you chewing on his eyebrows? A one oh seven. Seven eight oh seven eight four seven one oh seven. That is our number. We're live, local, and reachable. Hit us up about whatever. If you have traffic updates like one of our regulars does right now, that always works as well. What's going on? There's a, a traffic bot plug one forty ninth westbound uh, at, on the yellowhead. Now, you're an yeah. actual tow truck driver, if I'm not mistaken. I, I, I drive a 15-ton tow truck, yeah. So is uh, a butt plug on the road actual, like, scientific terminology in your field? <laughs> it, it, is, it is an industry slang, you could say. Yeah, okay, industry uh, slang. Yeah, b- because it hinders the flow of <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. My pleasure. That's interesting because I'm sure in almost every industry there's there's slang terms. Yeah, that others wouldn't know if you weren't in the industry. Like if I say that I've got spots coming up, people are like, "You what? Are you okay?" That just means commercials <laughs> yeah, in radio. Yeah, spot. Or there's one that's called hitting the post as well. Yeah. And I'm just going to, if you're comfortable, Lisa, the song that's coming up next, I'm just going to play the start of it, and I want you to try to hit the post. Oh, my gosh. What? Yeah. 
Here, Renny, okay. let's sure. do it. Your next chance to win $200 with Ryder and Lisa's $20,000 Play That Tune is coming up just after 8 o'clock. Be listening. It's Whoa! Woo! Who is she? Compared to the last time we tried that. Oh, my God. I, I read. <laughs> what's the other slang where when, when you run over the post or? Yeah, I think stomp the post. Stomp the post. That's not a good thing. Not a good thing. No. So I wanted to ask, 780-784-7107, tell us your industry Add a slang term from it, and then Lisa and I will try to guess what that means. <laughs> That's fun. Is that good? Yeah, I love it. All right. So, like, you, you're a bartender. Give me an old slang term from from your bartending days. Okay. Uh, come on in and make sure to get a seat at the wood. <laughs> <laughs> so that's just like sitting at the actual bar instead of at a table. Oh, I was going to guess. The, oh, probably sorry. best that you just told me. Yep, the probably wood, best. The wood is considered the bar. Yep. Oh, all right. Uh, so, yeah, 780-784-7107. Hit us up. Your industry and a slang term from it. We'll try to figure out what it means. <laughs> I love it. It's Play 107, and this is Hitting the Post. Yeah. It's beautiful. Play 107, your chance at some of our money coming up next. Ryder and Lisa's $20,000 Play That Tune every weekday at 710, 810, and 910 for the foreseeable future. So get ready. We just want to play a little game with Lisa, and then we will play the game with you. In like okay. a minute. Okay, so we were talking about industry slang <laughs> after uh, one of our regulars used a term about traffic getting bunged up that we won't repeat. But uh, I was like, is that actual slang in, in your industry? And it was. Yeah, because he runs a tow truck. So I've gotten a bunch of our listeners to text in slang terms from their professions. I'm going to read them to you, and I want you to try to guess what they mean, and okay. then I'll give you the answer. Sure. So Charlene from the medical field said that a term that they often use is vampires. What do you think that might mean in Me the medical field? Medical field? Yeah. A vampire? Um, uh... They're bleeding, obviously. No. Gum bleeding. Yeah. They're biters. Okay, no. They'll bite you. <laughs> yeah. The answer is patients that suck the life out of you with all of their problems on the phone. Oh, wow. Yeah. So That's got, awesome. Put them on hold. We got a vampire. We got a vampire over here. That's hilarious. Okay. Jenica is a paramedic, mm -hmm. and a term that they use is green tagger. A green tagger. What would that mean? <laughs> you can also like pass if you have uh, no, no I got idea. it they found someone on a field uh, that no. needs help they're on the green it's actually oh, oh uh, um, uh, they're actually on like a sports field injury mm. paramedic <laughs> no a green tagger is someone who is uh, got some loose wires that is going to be hard to deal with a little, cra okay. little crazy Okay. And it's because they green. used to get labeled with colors back in the day. They don't do that anymore. But green was apparently like, just a heads up, this person isn't entirely there. Okay. Uh, next up, we have Jim. Getting jacked up is a military term for what? Getting ready for to fight. <laughs> no. Doing some push-ups. You're getting jacked up means you're getting in trouble. Oh. Yeah. Oh, well, that military. one's a bit too confusing. Uh, Sean, a computer tech, texted in and said, shave the yak <laughs> is a term that they often use. Uh, delete all the files. No, it's apparently means the stuff that like you don't want to do before you can do the things you want to do. So like cleaning oh. your workspace between projects or installing a bunch of software. I like to permits. call that eating my frogs. Right. You get like, the stuff done you, get that it you done. don't want to do. Because who would want to eat a frog? You do it first thing in the morning. You're done. Exactly. And the last one I have is from Kate. This one is, uh, is ridiculous. She's a funeral director. And she said... Shake and bake is a term, <laughs> a term that they use in the funeral services industry. Okay, I'm going to assume that shake and bake is like putting on their makeup, making them look good, nice and crispy get, for the, the for the day. Get them a little no no well crispy. Putting on a layer, putting on their uh, funeral outfits. No, shake and bake is a direct cremation. Oh, so like you don't have to do embalming. There's no service you. 
it just goes in. You just shake. You just shake and bake. That is. <laughs> this is why these terms stay in their industry. Right. Because anyone outside of it is like judging. They're like, oh, that's rude. But you need or a name to weird. call it, <laughs> I guess. All right, let's give away some money. You ready yes, to go? Yes, please. Here it is. It's time for Ryder and Lisa's $20,000. Play that Think you know this song? <laughs> Be caller 7 at 780-784-7107 to play that tune. Only on Play 107. Play 107. It is time for a brand new episode of Unsung Heroes. This is where we give shout-outs to people, places, and things that don't always get the attention, admiration, recognition that they deserve. Shout-out to Facebook being awesome for just this one week, though. Because parents are posting their kids' first day of school photos. Outside of this week, it's an industrial dumpster fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love this week, though. Love those photos. Yeah. Super super cute. Oh, they're just so excited. eh? And then like a week later, they're like, I'm over it. Is it summer yet? Uh, So I saw one. You know how majority of the kids, they hold up that little sign with what grade they're going into, their name, their age, and what they want to be when they grow up. I saw one that just said, I don't know. And I was like, I feel that. (laughs) Still don't Super know. relatable. <laughs> How are you supposed to know in elementary? Shout out to parents judging kids for being picky eaters and pretending that we're not when really we handpicked and bought all the food that we have in the house. True. Specifically to what we wanted to eat. Shout out to loading your groceries in the trunk, but grabbing that one item to open and eat for your commute home. I'm looking at you, spicy dill Miss Vicky's. <laughs> <laughs> Just crush the whole bag. Shout out to my favorite pumpkin spice product, the pumpkin spiced rum and coke. Hold the pumpkin. <laughs> Good one. Thanks. <laughs> Shout out to people who are buying 2022 planners. That's ambitious and probably a waste of paper. <laughs> it's not happening. 2022 is not happening. I don't know. Shout out to not wearing underwear. To confuse the bullies who try to give you a wedgie. Wait a minute. What are you going to do Where now? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to anyone who couldn't wait to get back to the office to quote unquote feel normal again. Yeah, that'll last about four seconds before a colleague starts asking you, hey, what are you eating over there? What do you got? What are you heating up? What's in the microwave? Oh, did you make that? What's in it? <laughs> How long does that last? Oh, can you send me the recipe? I wonder what lasts longer, the excitement to get back to work or to get back to school? <laughs> I don't know. Fairly similar, I would imagine. And finally, shout out to new research that claims that men are more trans. What? I said, shout out to new research that claims men are more trans. No. Super annoying. Men are more trans. I don't think you understand that it's so frustrating for people. I never want to ask more than once what someone said. After the first time I go pardon and I still can't hear them, I just pretend to understand. And I go, oh yeah, cool, me too, and I walk away. Okay, but it didn't work. (laughs) No. Lisa on Play 107. Time is flying by. Yeah, this tweet went viral yesterday. It says, did it hurt? When you realize 2022 is just 121 days away and you're still processing 2019, which is about to be three years ago. (laughs) Insane, hey? (gasps) Oh my gosh. There there are times when things like this happen that like you're just awoken to the idea of how your parents and grandparents were right when they said things like, "Eh, time flies. Well, when you were a kid and summer vacation rolled around, it felt like forever. Mm -hmm. Like the summer was so long. And I think like that can be broken down scientifically to to what you have to compare it to. So like my daughter is 10. So a year is one tenth of her life. All she knows for time is what she's spent living. So... One tenth of a life is, you know, mm-hmm. longer than for us. Yeah, compared We're, to us, a year for me is one thirty ninth of my what I've spent so far, mm-hmm. right? And mine's one twenty eighth. No, it's not. Yeah. Well, you forget about a few years <laughs> there. Forget about six years. <laughs> I'm thirty one. Thank you very much. But yeah, you're reminded sometimes about how 
how quickly it goes. So yeah, just scary. a friendly reminder to uh, enjoy the little moments and embrace it. I, I saw a guy that I hadn't seen since Halloween 11 years ago or whatever. Right. And 10 years ago. And uh, this past weekend. And we like start talking and he's like, your daughter, you you were, expe- you were expecting. Did you have a son or a daughter? I was like, that's the 10-year-old in the pool right now. No. And he was mind blown. 